Joker Folie Adieu is in theaters after years of waiting, and I feel like the clown for watching this movie. So I love the first Joker movie. It's a tragic, haunting, and really compelling character study. And to me, what I appreciated most about it is that it really functioned well as this standalone story. Nothing that was connected to the larger DC universe as a whole. It was just its own story, and it was doing something different. And I really, really appreciated that. But when you're the first R-rated movie to gross a billion dollars worldwide at the box office... A sequel's coming your way, and I was very, very anxious and hesitant of it. I've been wary of a sequel ever since it was announced that it was getting one. But I, I try to stay optimistic when a sequel gets announced, and especially with Joker, Todd Phillips said they're going in a different direction. They're doing something different. It wasn't just going to be retreading the first Joker, and so I, I stayed optimistic. But the concerns that I had for the possibility of a sequel still kind of lingered. And I will say my guard was kind of let down by the trailers. The trailers were pretty solid and kind of sold me on a very different kind of movie. The musical component, um, the more courtroom drama of the film rather than it just being this very loner-esque fight club style character study. And uh, now that I've seen it, Joker should have stayed a solo project. And it should not have gotten a sequel. To start with the positives, the film looks absolutely gorgeous. The cinematography is beautiful, kind of haunting, but really works in any context that it's in. The production design is gorgeous, and especially with those musical sequences, the cinematography and the production design really benefits that and really takes that up a notch. And they it looks gorgeous. It's a beautiful looking movie. Also, I've got to give the acting some props. Joaquin Phoenix doesn't just give the same performance as the first Joker movie. He does something different here. Um, but I think he's still really, really solid in the movie. Lady Gaga is consistently proving that she has amazing acting chops and she's a terrific actor. And she's really, really great in this movie. And of course, we've got to talk about Brendan Gleeson, who I feel like is really underrated. Um, Brendan Gleeson plays one of the main prison guards, and he is like genuinely terrifying in this movie. He has a couple of sequences in here that are kind of horrifying. And I don't think people are talking about his performance enough, but he's really, really great in the film. And on paper, I really do respect the ambition to avoid retreading the same waters as the first Joker movie and going in a completely different direction. Now, whether that was to the benefit of this movie, that's up for debate, but I do respect the ambition and trying to go in a different direction, especially going with the musical route, going with the courtroom drama route, going through the prison movie, kind of. It's it, they're going in a different direction, and I can at least respect it for that. But where Joker Folia do seems to fall flat is, quite frankly, everywhere else, and especially in the execution of its ideas. What is Todd Phillips saying here, exactly? It seems like he hated his own movie, and he's trying to walk back and basically cancel out anything that was interesting or compelling from the first film. This sequel loses any sense of voice or urgency that the first film has and really, really drags throughout his runtime through a lot of really repetitive beats. And it feels like you're watching the same thing over and over again and you're not really getting anywhere. Again, I'll admit that some of these concepts and ideas are bold and striking and interesting on paper, But the execution doesn't service the movie, and it feels like by the time you're watching it, a bunch of half-baked and undercooked ideas that are just kind of thrown in all together, and they just don't work with each other. And I think if you had taken these concepts and fashioned them in a way that serviced the characters in the story more than anything... I think it could have worked, but I think Todd Phillips was so blinded by his ambition and really just trying to do something different that he kind of loses the character in the process. And it just feels like he's walking back everything that he was doing. Ultimately, the word I keep coming back to is baffling. I'm baffled as to what happened with Todd Phillips between the first and second film, and I'm baffled as to why the first movie got a sequel or why it even needed one in the first place. But let me know what you thought of Joker Folia do down in the comments below. It's a pretty controversial one, and I've seen reactions all across the board. So let me know what you thought down in the comments below. I'd love to hear your take. And 
Tell me what I missed out on. Please. Somebody. I didn't get it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.